Hey guys, and today in this video I'm going to be talking about how to get good coral colour and growth. So it's just a few things I'm going to be going through. It's going to be a pretty short video, but I did say I would be doing a how-to video. So here you go, and uh, yeah, enjoy. So the first thing I want to do, well, I want to cover is LPS. Feeding, um, feed whatever you like. Feed, well, I recommend spectrum pellets nothing else don't feed it flake food or anything because it might not consume it and it's not really that healthy spectrum pellets has literally everything in it vitamins seaweed you meat every it's got everything in it and it seems my my duncan here seems to really like it uh because as you can see around the rim of the coral like at the top I'm start to get, I think there's like eight heads around the edge. I've got that in about two months. They About two months ago, they started. And I would say in a few, in about three months, they'd all be about the same size as the actual Duncan head itself. So feeding is really important. Spectrum pellets mine goes mad for, but I also feed it rephroids. If you, if you can feed your LPS corals every day, great then they will grow mad literally mad my duncan has and i've been doing it every other day so yeah reefoids and spectrum pellets some corals prefer different things like they prefer to consume like they they consume different foods easier like my candy cane can, can consume reefoids easier because it's it's more it's just easier for it to catch it in its tentacles which candy canes have and then they, they kind of they reach out for the food and then they bring it bring them back in and put it in its mouth um so i'm i'm not really seeing i haven't seen any growth from my candy cane at the moment because it's only been in there about two weeks or something i don't think not even that i don't think oh yeah yeah about two weeks so you can't really see it's impossible to see growth that quickly <laughs> well unless it's fully set, settled in it did took a week or so until it was settled in because the color was a little bit off so yeah, so feed whatever refroids on your torch crawls. Mine, in my experience, just my my torch crawl doesn't spit any food out. You can feed it whatever. So the more the better. But you might find that it spits them out. Just slow down your feeding a little bit if you find that it constantly spits the food out every time you feed. Then just slow it down a little bit. But you, you can't make him unhappy from overfeeding. They'll just spit it out and then that's that. I mean, it won't make him unhappy and then that colour go down. So, yeah, feeding is key. There'll be a link in the description to Reefroids and Spectrum Pellets. Uh, I did do a video on it a few, couple months ago on Spectrum Pellets and Reefroids, actually. I did, last video, I did a, um, a showing of, of me feeding everything Reefroids. Um, yeah, that's LPS. Soft crawls, um, you can't really feed them, but well, GSP, that's soft crawl. That's what I've got on the back wall there, that green stuff. Um, looks amazing, as you can see. I do have the um, the camera lens thing on though, which does boost all the colours up, but even then, it, the GSP does look great because it is really happy. I feed that Reefroids every. Two, well, I leave a two day gap and then I feed a two day gap and then I feed and then so on. Well, I only feed it Reefroids because Spectrum it can't, it doesn't have a, it doesn't actually have a mouth, but it can consume it if you know what I mean. Like it can put it in its flesh, it can, it can just consume it and like it will just sink into its flesh, I think. Um, yeah, mine goes mad for Reefroids. You, if you just put a little bit on there until all the polyps kind of shoot in a little bit. It's not them shooting and like, oh no, like, like they're scared or saying. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's just that it's just how they um how they consume the food. So yeah, GSP they do feed. I'm not really too sure on Zoas. I do feed them Reefroids, only Reefroids. Um, but you can you can try Spectrum. I really don't think they'll eat it because they don't actually have a mouth like LPS crawls do. But yeah, they do shoot in a little bit. Like they do. I think they do consume Reefroids. But yeah. Pulse crawl, don't even bother feeding it refroids or spectrum. It doesn't eat it. I've tried. I've, I, yeah, I've tried spectrum and refroids. Spectrum, it doesn't have a mouth, so it can't eat that. Uh, refroids, I don't know what it is. It just, it doesn't really seem to touch it. It just, it just acts like it's nothing. So, 
I really don't think they refoid, so I don't even bother feeding that. And mine's already bursting with growth, is because um, it's in a really stable environment. So stable parameters is key for gro well mainly color, but growth as well. Color, so stable parameters will make the coral happy, and its color will boost up. It can, it, it makes sense, and um, yeah, yeah. My SPS coral, it does, SP, I think SPS do eat um, refroids, they can actually consume that, uh, because when I puff my puff mine with some refroids, it, the pods do seem to go in a little bit, Just it's just how it's way of it eating it. So I am starting to get growth on the uh, my red dig digitata that I have at the top. I have, I have at, the, at the top of the tank because Lighting is an important thing, especially for SPS because they are a bit fussy with lighting. They do like high lighting, high flow. Um, but as, you, as you can see there, I am starting to get a little bit of growth on it. Little white tips are starting to erupt on the edge. That means that's the like that's the new growth that's coming up. And I did took a picture of the of the coral a few weeks ago just to see the uh, the growth on it. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. So a few things: stable parameters, lighting, flow. It's just, you, you're going to have to look up the coral and what they like, but feeding for LPS is key. They absolutely love it. If you want growth, refroids. Get refroids. There'll be a link in the description to where you can get it. And I did do a video on it uh, last video. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. You'll see me next week with probably an update. Um, I'm looking for an ACAN. Um, yeah. I'm, look, yeah. I'm looking for an ACAN. Can't really find one. Um, but, yeah. You'll see me then. Bye.